Welcome back, everyone. So here's the issue. Over the last couple of years, the um, amount of foreign workers in Korea has declined quite sharply. This is largely due to do with um, uh, the COVID issues. A lot of people, you know, wanting to go home, choosing um, to uh, stay with their families mm -hmm. rather than uh, stick it out in Korea. Also, a lot of uh, workplaces have closed down uh, yeah. over the past couple of years. And but now, in the post-COVID atmosphere, things are opening up again. Um, things are sort of of getting back to normal a little bit, but the migrant workers have not returned yet. So this is the issue. Um, how to uh, encourage, entice those, that essential part of the labor force back mm -hmm. into Korea um, to you know, keep the economy, um, keep those jobs uh, you know, working well. What to do uh, to bring the foreign workers back? I know uh, there's a labor shortage of Gangnam teachers right now. Oh, really? I <laughs> yeah. didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, Just a slight one, teachers. but there are openings available. I see, I see. Yeah. Well, maybe I should apply. I've always fancied Gangnam. <laughs> no, don't worry. I'm, that's not serious. Jungno. Yeah. Jungno. For Jungno. life. For life. Is, Jungno. That what, Jungno. Yeah. is that your chant every morning? Seriously. With your team? <laughs> I love to do rivalries that are totally pointless, <laughs> well, <laughs> and that's one. Let's of them. fight along the Cheonggyecheon someday. Yes, let's both have sides boxing. shooting arrows at each other. We'll do pay per view. <laughs> <John versus Claire. laughs> oh. Anyway, back to the land of reality. Um, so, <laughs> what do you think are the greatest challenges mm. that foreign workers face in Korea? I mean, you obviously yeah. are a foreign worker, yeah. but in general, also. Uh, well, I think the two biggest ones are discrimination and uncertainty. Um, number one, your job is uncertain. If you're at the lower end of the labor force, and by lower, I don't mean uh, jobs which are considered dirty or anything, it's just the ones that are more entry and available for foreign workers, uh, you have a high chance of having something illegal happening that you cannot control. Mm -hmm. um, that has been getting better, but still not quite there. Also, visas have been notoriously hard to keep or renew or even have sometimes, mm -hmm. causing people to be suddenly expelled from the country that they've been in for eight, 10 or longer years. Um, and then of course the, you know, sort of discrimination that can happen, especially to um, um, some, some sort of uh, demographic, demographic groups out there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would say those are the greatest challenges so far. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, do you think um, there's mm -hmm. anything that the government could do to encourage them to get the uh, the labor force back to Korea? Uh, yeah, I think money is a huge. I think uh, well. I, mean, I don't. I don't want to be like money, the, you know yeah. the the cliche person here. Um, it's it's not something that's absolutely you know novel. Mm -hmm. Money talks, and mm -hmm. so if you want to get people to come over, you have to offer them. Uh, I think stability. I think that's a big one too. Mm -hmm. But also, you know, a good reason to come here and a great reason to come is to earn more money. Um, also, making the process easier, mm -hmm. making mm -hmm. it simple, quick, and easy. Uh, and then having good government oversight for the companies that actually uh, hire the workers. Mm -hmm. If people are offering a lot of money, but then the horror stories come at back mm -hmm. about how they were mistreated, they're not gonna come. Mm -hmm. They're gonna find somewhere else because even if humans are desperate, they may not be desperate enough to be mistreated like that, mm -hmm. even yeah. to the point of death. So, yeah, I think it just, yeah, simplify regulation and money. Mm -hmm. And I mm. think, uh, I, I never realized, because I think we're actually mm. quite lucky as teachers that uh, mm -hmm. on an E2 visa at least, I know mm -hmm. we're not all on mm -hmm. the, that visa, but the the sort of laws and mm -hmm. rights are pretty equivalent in this sector mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. a Korean person doing our job. Yeah. But that is definitely not the same mm -hmm. in many mm -hmm. other sectors, like mm -hmm. particularly the entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. um, I never realized how legally they're allowed mm -hmm. to discriminate against foreign entertainers compared to Korean entertainers. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess a, the, a gap one. in the labor market for entertainers mm. is probably mm. not the biggest issue in Korea <laughs> right now. But again, if yeah. other sectors have very different laws mm. for locals mm. versus foreigners, you need to sort that one out. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. It can be difficult. Humans are human, even if they are from a foreign country yeah. um, when it comes to, you know, basic human right laws. Mm -hmm. um, in England, do foreigners have a pretty good image? Uh, I want to say yes. Mm -hmm. I'd say 50% of mm -hmm. British society would mm -hmm. say yes. 
and 50% of British society were brainwashed during the Brexit process to believe that foreigners were the cause of all British problems, which obviously is not the truth. Um, I think also I heard I have seen some more encouraging articles now that mm. the great the wider British public is beginning to fully understand the negative impact of Brexit and why mm. that we were they were sold a lot of lies and mm. getting rid of the foreigners has only made our economy mm. even worse. So um, I'm hoping attitudes are going to get back to reality uh, like they used to be. And we used to be very accepting um, mm -hmm. of a multicultural society. Having said all that, we do have if you do, if you are a foreigner and you work in the UK, uh -huh. you will be subject to exactly the same employment laws as everybody okay. else. Oh, OK. okay there okay, is I see. across the board. I see. We have anti-discrimination. I thought you were about to say something like off the hinge or something. Sorry. No. <laughs> well, at least there's a, a it seems to be a paradigm shift then in British thought. Uh, mm -hmm. After Brexit, because yeah, it, it was um, to the rest of the world, the, the the arguments were quite clearly lies. But I can see how the emotions get in the right way, because mm -hmm. obviously we had a very similar <laughs> emotional argument in the U.S. as well, which mm -hmm. caused a lot of people from foreign countries to be extra discriminated against. Um, and you know, depending on the country you came from, you could have a bit of a trouble mm -hmm. in the U.S. Okay. even now. But uh, things although quite heated, do seem to be getting better. Mm -hmm. We've got to hope, we've got to try oh, to do hope. better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Keep trying, don't give up. Yeah. Anyway, while we yeah. come to terms with our failings and promise ourselves to do better, yeah. we must do better by learning lots of great vocabulary. Mm -hmm. So I give you the green light. Go ahead, check it out, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Paradigm Shift Paradigm shift. Breaking point. Breaking point. Documented. Documented. Steer clear of something, somebody. Steer clear of something, somebody. Untapped. Untapped.